as our new country review continues, we'll be flying to Curacao to see what's happening there in the Cup Finals. Best team uh, ratings, wealthiest teams, top players, top salaries and the works. So if you are Curacao as I am, let's go! Hey guys, it's Uncle Mish and this time we'll be checking Curacao as the Cup Final being played and the league reached its midway. Point. So I'll be looking at some nice statistics with the wealthiest teams, top salaries, best league performance, the cup final review and top local players. We'll start with the wealthiest teams and in the first place we have team in memory of Zbeno and they have almost 11 million euros. But not only that. In the two previous countries that we checked, the teams, the, the wealthiest teams, they were in the fourth division, only hoarding for cash, but not in memory of Zbeno. They are in the third division and they are first place there with a perfect score. So not only that they know how to generate money and have 11 million euros, they are already in the first place and about to promote to the second division as well. So we'll be definitely seeing a lot of them in the future seasons in Curacao with so much money in their pocket, they'll definitely be a force to be reckoned with. As the top salaries will have Team Facundo 83 on vacation in Curacao and this manager from Division 3.8 he's paying 157,000 euros for to his players that's 40,000 euros more than the second place we'll see if this uh, will allow him to generate nice ratings and good results but he is definitely paying much more than the average team and looking at the best league statistics, we have two teams here performing the best outstanding, very low uh, ratings. And that's Facundo 83 and Team Piggy FC. Team Facundo 83 had slightly better rating and on the away, which is very nice, they won this away game four goals to two with a hat stat rating on 340, uh, 334. Um, best ratings in Curacao so far, which puts him in the first place here. And also the cup in Curacao was won by no other than Facundo 83. So paying a lot of money to your players, probably having a very old squad with a lot of veteran players pays off and he pays the most salaries generating the best league ratings and also winning the cup. He won his cup game again the turtles on holiday uh, four goals to five so this game ended in the overtime and the overall ratings here team facundo 83 supernatural midfield awesome here with 373 head stats he definitely deserves to win the cup final in curacao congratulations man Looking at the top local players, again, I'll be looking at every position and I'll be dividing those players by TSI. That's the best measurement that we have because we don't really know the potential points of each player. One thing I will tell you for certain, the goalkeeper, uh, the best goalkeeper in Curacao is amazing co compared to all the others. Ayrton Molino, an 18-year-old goalkeeper, has 35 thousand TSI that's twice twice as much as the second goalkeeper there and that's a nice amount of head stats for, uh, of TSI for a goalkeeper congratulations to team blue curacao they are doing something right with this goalkeeper uh, best wing back in curacao Eloy Zimmerman a technical player merely eight and a half thousand TSI that's it nothing special he has a technical speciality, which is okay. The best center defender is Cur in Curacao is Shermar Martha, another technical player with 11,000 TSI, which makes him the best center defender in Curacao um, at 19 and a half, at 19 and a half years old, and the best. Uh, winger in Curacao, something happening here, another technical player, they are 
probably feeding them with a special spice or something. Rich Daily Williams is the best winger in Curacao with almost 15,000 TSI. And he's playing in team uh, FC Word 2. The best inner midfielder called Hippolito Gari and he has 12 and a half thousand TSI and an unpredictable speciality playing for his home team Isle of Paradise. And this time I'll be showing you two uh, forwards. One because uh, he has a cool name, Eugene Dick. He's the best 20 year old uh, forward, no speciality, nothing special a part of his name and the best forward in Curacao and he's currently on sale which allows us to check his ratings called Kuko Jacoba with a quick speciality. He has scoring of brilliant, passing of inadequate and wing of six. His ability points um, 1840 my technical uh, forward in Sao Tome is better than this one but again and um, his manager he wants five and a half million euros for him with the transfer compare being only one and a half million euros so he wants to get rich out of this uh, Curacao diamond he bought him for only six hundred thousand so if he'll sell him after one and a half season for this amount of money that would be a huge sale for him. And that would be it, guys. In Curacao right now, we have 250 free active managers, which is pretty nice. And it's more than in the two previous countries that we checked, Comoros and Sao Tome. And that would be it. If Do you have a team in Curacao? What do you feel about this league? Do you have nice prospects in the youth academy and what are you training? Please write in the comments. I'm curious to know how you are doing. Other than that, just enjoy it. Remember that hat trick it's more than a game, it's a community. And I'll definitely be seeing you around in my next videos.